guys. So we're going to be talking about Degrassi next class. As I told you, I'm filming these in advance. So let's jump into it. Esme, Frankie, and Zig, seasons three and four. I think this is a mess. Like, I just feel like they did not work well together as a three piece. And the fact that Zig was just like, oh, yeah, let's just add Frankie into our group. Like, I know polyamory is a thing. And, um, you know, but it's just I feel like it wasn't right for them because then Esme started to turn on Frankie. And then, you know, it did. Yeah. And then she was only using Frankie to keep Zig's attention. And it's like, yeah. Hunter and Yael. I really liked Hunter and Yael. And then I started to hate Hunter and Yale. <laughs> um, I really liked Hunter and Yale because they really had a lot of things in common. But then Hunter not accepting Yale, that's where it started to fall apart. And I can't believe that Hunter was like that. Hunter had never like really shown. Like Hunter was seeming to be more like, you know, okay with things like that because, you know, VJ was such a close friend to him and things like that. And it's like, not even accepting Yale. Like, you still love Yale. Why can't you love them? You know, I just... Uh. Oh. Um, Jake and Katie. The only reason I say this is because it was tweeted that Jake went to California to be with Katie by the writer. So, Jake and Katie were in game. Just letting you know that. I love that for them. Jonah and Frankie. I never liked Jonah and Frankie. I never did. It was just something about them that just rubbed me completely the wrong way. It just felt like... Like, Jonah liked Frankie, but then it seemed like Jonah started to not like Frankie, but wouldn't tell Frankie. And then Frankie hacking into his messages when you couldn't just talk to him. Like, what? Jonah and Grace. I feel like Jonah and Grace were better suited than Jonah and Frankie, but I just feel like they still weren't the best because it seemed like, you know... The whole thing about sex is where I started to see it fall apart because it's like, Grace is like, yeah, you're a horrible guy. And like Jonah's trying to have like a serious conversation with her. And it felt like at first, like, of course, when he got to tell her what actually happened, she started to take it seriously. But before then, she wasn't really. And like, yeah, he was hiding her. And that was a shitty thing to do. Like, why would you hide her? Why would you not be like, oh, I really like her? Like, mm. Jonah just, Jonah pisses me off. Miles and Lola. This was not really a relationship, but uh, Miles and Lola, I don't think it should have happened, obviously. Um, Lola was a really good friend to Miles and a really good support to Miles. And of course it was probably gonna turn into something more, but I really hoped it wouldn't. And so when it went that route, I got really upset because I felt bad for Lola because she really liked Miles. And you know, Miles was, you know, but you know. Saad and Lola. I really liked Saad and Lola. I wish we could have seen more of it because I think he was the really good relationship for her and he was going to be really good for her. And then we never got to see more of it. Winston and Goldie. Again, Winston and Goldie. I wanted to see them get together. I wanted to see more of that because Winston really liked her and he was so sweet to her. They were so sweet to each other. I just... Winston and Zoe. Winston was such a good support to Zoe and it was so nice to see him be so patient with her in their relationship and then when she came out to him it was so sweet for him to be there for her and I just love to see it. He's such a sweetheart. Zig and Esme. I hated Zig and Esme every single second of it. It just seemed like it wasn't a good relationship. It was highly toxic and like Esme had a problem with jealousy and like you know it just mm, mm. I can't. Zig and Maya. So obviously it was before Zig and Esme. Um, but, you know, they ended and it's because toxic because Zig with his jealousy. So it's like, you know, ironic that he dates a girl that has jealousy problems he had with Maya. But yeah, it just, I don't think, no, they weren't good. Like even when they began. But then it was confirmed in an interview to be Endgame by the writers. I hate that. It's a toxic relationship. I don't think it's going to get fixed anytime soon. Zoe and Rasha. So Zoe and Rasha, they, they were amazing. Like I knew they were going to last like forever. Like Zoe and Rasha got married, had kids. 
perfect. Zoe was so supportive of Rasha and her, like, what she went through. And then Rasha was supportive of Zoe coming out and being out and all that stuff. And they were just so cute. Okay, guys. So that is the end of next class. Let me know what you think about those relationships. Again, if you're going to agree and disagree in the comments, please be nice to each other. I love to hear differing views and I love to maybe hear things that I didn't think of before. It always brightens my day to see you guys. Tell me what you think. Um, so next week we will be doing Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High relationships. <coughs> And then the week after that, we'll be rating all the relationships. And the tiers are God, great, decent, deserved better writing, and toxic. Those are the tiers. Also, um, yeah, uh, then after we do rating all relationships, we're done with Degrassi and we'll be moving on to Nancy Drew. Please, guys, stick around if you know Nancy Drew, or if you even don't, maybe you'll find a new interest. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, crap. Okay, well, um, next class I'm going to go over to a little bit because there were some next class that were missed, and I'm going to take them out of this video and put them in next class. So, hi, uh, if you're here... These are some next class ones that were missed in the last video. So I know I'm dressed in a different thing. This is from a different day, but some next class I missed were Tiny and Lola. Just to say, I did not like Tiny and Lola. I did not think they were well matched for each other. Um, Tiny and Shay, I absolutely loved Tiny and Shay because I felt like they were actually meant for each other. They had a lot in common and things like that. Tristan and VJ, I hated every single second of it. It's just you could tell Tristan was not in it. Um, and so that's all of that. But somehow that got in the wrong list. So I'll just put that in the other video. If I don't put it in the other video, it'll be at the beginning of this one. Whatever editing Kayla feels like doing, honestly. <laughs>